Okay, Joan of Arc. This is really happening. Scene three, take one, marker. Joan of Arc is a very odd figure historically. You see the name of Joan of Arc everywhere, Jeanne d'Arc. Every church you go into is still something that is in the consciousness, especially of the French people. It's about religion, it's about politics, and it's about a young woman who was in the beginning of her life putting everything on the line the story goes that she's a peasant. She got to roam the fields with her sheep or with her cattle. She was not fit to lead an army. She was not a professional. She was only 17 years old, and it was an opportunistic moment for the officials of France to go against the English who were trying to take over France from the top down. And action. Ha! A few more drinks and we'll crown him king tonight! And this religious woman who says she hears voices, maybe she does. Her story bears retelling. All the designs that we use in portraying this puppet story of ours were directly inspired from these real places. There are a Approximately 22 puppets that were made for this production. These puppets are handmade puppets. They are designed by a master craftsman. They are made out of wood and enormous amounts of love. Costumes, the material, the care that goes into this. The time it takes for him to do everything to get it to work perfect. It is an amazing thing to see. It's just a work of beauty. He has talent and skill like I've seen rarely in puppets around the world. Maybe three or four hundred years ago, you had people that gave their life to the puppets they were making. Eugene Serrigan is one of those people still living today who does it. This woman's story is amazing. It's a cathartic story. It's a rise to great levels that very few humans ever rise to and fall. This is so unlikely, it's so unusual, awe-inspiring and universal. Okay, ready? 